Amid a roller coaster season, the Warriors are finding their footing with a newfound sense of stability and teamwork. But the journey is far from over for Steph Curry and his squad. Despite the ups and downs, Curry remains unwavering in his belief in the team's potential, emphasizing that their destiny hinges on seizing victory on their home turf. In an exclusive interview with ESPN's Malika Andrews, Curry emphasized the pivotal role of home court advantage. He said this, Our strength has always been in our home court dominance. We're currently at 500, which isn't where we want to be. But if we can fortify our fortress, we know we can elevate our game on the road and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the league's elite. Acknowledging the close contests that have slipped through their fingers in the final quarters, Curry understands the acceptable margin separating them from a higher standing in the league. However, with only 16 games left in the season as of the recording of this video, he exudes confidence in the team's ability to climb the ranks steadily. As the playoffs loom, the Warriors focus on securing a spot, regardless of the route. Whether through the play-in tournament or clawing their way up to sixth place, the Warriors are determined to prove their mettle. And once they punch their ticket, they'll be a force to be reckoned with. If the current standings hold, the Warriors will find themselves in a do-or-die scenario, battling through the play-in tournament to earn their place among the conference's top contenders in a best-of-seven showdown. But for Curry and his comrades, the journey is just the beginning. They're ready to make every game count. This video will give insights into the Warriors' roadmap to the playoffs. Let's get into it. The Golden State Warriors have etched their name into NBA history with their past triumphs, ensuring they're always in the conversation when it comes to the championship contenders. However, glancing at the current standings reveals a different story. The Warriors right now are far from title contenders. While they've showcased moments of brilliance, maintaining that level of performance has proven challenging especially considering the grueling task of winning multiple playoff series consecutively, let alone navigating the play-in tournament. To even consider championship glory, the Warriors need several key pieces to fall into place. Chief among them is getting Andrew Wiggins firing on all cylinders. In February of 2020, Andrew Wiggins embarked on a new chapter in his career with a trade to the Golden State Warriors, a move that promised to redefine his trajectory. Wiggins was previously known for his performances in less successful environments and found himself in a winning culture with the Warriors. This shift transformed his game, elevating his efficiency and impact on both ends of the court. His strides were recognized with his first ever All-Star selection, solidifying his role as a crucial asset on a championship caliber team. However, the narrative has taken a different turn this season. Wiggins seems to have taken a step back, with his statistical output subdued and shooting percentages dipping. Just when it seemed like he was finding his rhythm, a personal issue sidelined him for four consecutive games, disrupting his momentum he had been building. Jonathan Kuminga's emergence has undoubtedly added depth to the Warriors roster, lessening Andrew Wiggins' burn burden of solely serving as Steph Curry's sidekick. However, Wiggins remains a vital component of the team's success. His defensive prowess, athleticism, and ability to provide scoring support are all crucial elements in the Warriors' winning formula. Golden State will be a formidable playoff contender if Wiggins can pick up where he left off before his absence. He showcased his scoring efficiency in his last nine games before stepping away, averaging 15.3 points while shooting an impressive 53.5% from the field, 50% from beyond the arc, and 80% from the free throw line. Additionally, his impact on the court was evident, as he posted the team's third highest plus minus registering a plus 46 in 251 minutes of play. With Wiggins performing at his best alongside Curry and the rest of the Warriors roster, opponents will have to take them seriously as a challenging matchup in the playoffs. Another crucial aspect for the Warriors to address is their turnover rate. Historically, even during their peak performances, the Warriors have grappled with turnovers, partially due to their lack of size. This deficiency remains a concern, especially considering the formidable big men that they encounter in the playoffs. While the team's size might be a fixed attribute, their tendency to commit turnovers is within their control. Despite the addition of a seasoned decision maker like Chris Paul, turnovers continue to plague the Warriors. There's instances where they take unnecessary risks or make ill-timed passes, jeopardizing their offensive flow. And despite Paul's presence, the Warriors still rank a disappointing 22nd in turnover percentage, according to NBA.com. In the past, the Warriors could compensate for turnovers with their exceptional overall play, reaching levels of bad 
basketball mastery that bordered on the absurd. However, the current roster needs to have that same level of dominance. As a result, the significance of making the most out of every possession has become paramount. With their top gear seemingly less accessible, the Warriors must place an even greater emphasis on the value of each and every possession. They must adapt to this reality by executing more efficiently and minimizing errors that could cost them dearly in crucial moments. By recognizing the heightened importance of maximizing every opportunity, the Warriors can elevate their game and enhance their chances of success in the postseason. And lastly, it may be redundant to emphasize the importance of Steph Curry being Steph Curry, considering he's the cornerstone of the Warriors' identity. Yet, even a player of his caliber can experience fluctuations in performance. Lately, Curry is yet to reach the scoring heights defining his game. For the Warriors to embark on a successful playoff journey, they need Curry to unleash his trademark brilliance. His ability to light up the scoreboard and command the court is integral to the team's success. When Curry is firing on all cylinders, the Warriors transform into a formidable force capable of overcoming any challenge. This season, Steph's statistical performance reveals deviations from his usual standards. His player efficiency rating of 20.6 is his lowest since his sophomore year, and his actual shooting percentage of 62% ranks as his second worst under coach Steve Kerr, excluding his injury-disrupted 2019-2020 campaign. In perspective, his box plus minus of plus 5.1 and win shares per 48 minutes of 0.137 are the least favorable in over a decade if you discount that abbreviated season. While these numbers don't necessarily indicate a decline in Curry's abilities, they highlight the immense responsibility he shouldered, perhaps due to a lack of sufficient support. Regardless of the underlying factors, the bottom line remains. For the Warriors to have a fighting chance, Curry must reclaim his status as a dominant force on the court. One thing has become very obvious as we broke down the Warriors' path to the postseason. There are many unknowns and difficulties along the way. The Warriors have a lot of work ahead of them to guarantee their birth in the postseason season, from making the most out of every possession to reviving Steph Curry's legendary brilliance. But in between the obstacles is a chance for success and atonement. The Warriors might rekindle their title hopes if they reduce turnovers to a minimum. Each player plays at their peak, and Curry finds his magic again. As viewers and fans, we now have a significant part to play in this story. Our support may be the impetus behind the Warriors' pursuit of postseason success, whether through spectator cheers or play-by-play -play analysis. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.